there, Miss Shannon. How are you today? I'm doing very well, Linda. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm just very well. Thank you. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Miss Shannon Brodnax. Is that how you pronounce your name, Brodnax? Yes, ma'am. You got it. First try. Oh, good. And uh, Shannon uh, it just graduated from our legal transcription course. And I would like to turn it over to her now and let her introduce herself, tell us where she's from, and, you know, just, just tell everybody whatever you'd like to say about yourself. Go right ahead. Oh, sure. I was born in Washington, D.C., raised in Maryland. I've been uh, living down here in Florida for about 30 years now. Uh, mom of two beautiful daughters and uh, grandmother of a almost three-year-old granddaughter. Uh, so I'm very, very proud. Uh, and I'm honored to say that I have chosen to make this uh, career change at 46 years old in my life uh, with the changes that I've had coming down my pipeline over the course of the last year. So this has uh, definitely um been just a life-changing, a true life-changing decision for me. Well, great. That's good to hear. What were you doing prior, uh, like in your work career? What type of work? You know, just give us a little history, if you don't mind. Go right sure, ahead. not at all. Prior to this, I have decades of experience in uh, the field of medicine, as well as insurance and third-party billing. So I have a lot of medical history under my belt, a lot of administrative uh, skill under my belt. Uh, this is definitely a, a career change. For me, it feels somewhat lateral. Uh, however, this allows me the opportunity to grow in my knowledge and to learn uh, in depth more of what the law truly entails and how we remain fair uh, across the board as a nation. Well, that's true. You know, uh, we train a lot of medical, former medical transcriptionists, and that's what they say too. You know, it's just so different. I mean, it's still transcription work but it's totally different when you cross over from the medical into the legal. And um, do you find it's interesting? Uh, it is so interesting, extremely engaging. There's so much to learn. Mm -hmm. And when it finally clicks and everything makes sense, that light bulb goes off and you just have such a clear understanding of why why things are meant to be done or formatted the way that they are. There's a purpose for everything. And that gives me purpose as I go along through transcribing to really make sure that I'm doing the best that I can to watch for those tiny little details. Those tiny little details mean everything. They can make a difference, you know, kind of like they say that comma can make or break a case. And, uh, you know, with legal, uh, you know, people's freedom is on the line and are their money or their custody of their children. This is important work. And I mean, yes, I know is. medical is too. Don't, I didn't mean it like that, but, uh, you know, the litigants that come into uh, the courtroom or file uh, lawsuits or whatever, you know, this is their life that we're talking about. And exactly very important to them and they want those transcripts to be as close to perfect as possible the That's worst correct. Thing, you know out there is all wrong words it just can totally mess everything up and so in the training that i do uh i'm really as you found out big on accuracy uh that's yes. the main i mean you know, we learn all other stuff, software training and formatting and all kinds of stuff, punctuation galore. But the accuracy is, to me, far more important, really, than the speed. It really is, because as you train us, Linda, to learn that, like you said, that comma it makes a bigger difference than anybody would really want to give it credit for. It, it make, It's the difference between the meaning of a word. 
And this, as you said, impacts someone else's life. And that's very important for us to remember on a daily basis as we're going through and transcribing. And I can have full appreciation for that, Linda, as someone who's been in a courtroom going through a divorce. I've dealt with attorneys uh, dealing with my passing of my father and his probate uh, on the estate. And of course, the attorneys that I deal with for my mother and her health care in a long-term care facility. Mm -hmm. There's so much involved. And I can tell you, there's no way I would have made it through any of those things without that attorney and their extensive knowledge. And I feel that this is my opportunity to give back to all of those things and to everyone that I touch with my transcribing, um, their life is going to be impacted in some way, shape or form that I will never know. But I know that I will feel good about the quality of work that I've provided that I know is going to indeed make an impact at some point in time on someone else and their life. That's very important. Right. And that's because you're a perfectionist. And that's an excellent trait uh, for someone to have doing this type of work. You almost almost kind of have to be. It's so many little tiny bits and pieces and parts and just millions of things to try to remember. And as you were going through my training, did you at some point, I think I know the answer, but I'll ask feel overwhelmed, like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to learn this. It's just so much. I absolutely did. I like I, to think I, about I, it I, like meat and potatoes is how I think about it. So, you know, when you really get to the meat, to the heart of what's truly in this course um, from start to finish, for me personally, I felt like I kind of hit a brick wall there. And I did start to kind of doubt myself a little and question whether or not I was cut out for this and really made to, you know, be able to get through this uh, course. But I stuck with it, Linda. You're always so encouraging and supportive. And anytime I've ever had a question or, you know, um, not sure how to do something, or if I thought that I had the understanding of what you've already tried to explain and I didn't quite have my mind fully wrapped around that. You just, you stuck with me and you hung in there with me until I got it. And that has made all the difference in the world for me. And I just go back and reference everything. Um, you have an abundance of resources and material for us there. It's the biggest bang we're ever going to get for our dollar ever. And I tell you, Linda, if, if I had not have enrolled, I don't know where my life would be heading at this point. And so I will forever be grateful to you and for this course and the difference and the impact it's made for my life. Well, that is so sweet of you to say, and I'm so happy that I could be a part of that. Um, so you have been, you've graduated and yes. you have been accepted and you've started an apprenticeship already. Yes, I have. And I'm so excited for this. Yes. It's a wonderful company. They are just amazing. Their workflow is set up to be very user friendly. Uh, and, and their onboarding process has been just fantastic. And I'm so excited to just dive in and get started with the things that they have to offer. Well, you're going to do really well with it. Uh, but you know, when you felt like you hit that plateau or that little wall that was giving you a little grief there, what happened, if, if you remember, that let you break through? I really took the time at that point to just kind of go through and print everything that you had in those sections as I was going along. And instead of the one binder that I had at the time, I broke that down into four binders and I sectioned it off based on how you have your course on the platform. And I kept like with like. So I have a binder for my word and my formatting. I have a binder for my punctuation and my grammar and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And that has really made all the difference in the world for me. And then within those binders, I have dividing tabs so I can keep the like parts 
of those sections together for easy reference and quick referral. And that really has just made all the difference in the world for me. Good. So organization. Absolutely. You've got to really be as organized as you possibly can, especially while you're learning and you're new to this. If it's something that you've done and you've done transcribing for a while, I feel like you probably pick up a little bit faster. But for uh -huh. those of us like myself that are new to this, uh, learning how to organize and manage uh, the amount of information and resource is the most important thing that you can do for yourself. Well, I, you know, don't want to brag or anything, but I feel like that the information that I have have in this course is huge. Oh gosh, I mean, it just covers everything from A to Z and more. Uh, Absolutely. So, and the idea was for someone like you who has never transcribed in your life. You've just never done this type of work, training your ear uh, to, to hear and and multitask and everything you, you know you gotta do. Correct. And lead you from zero, as they say, zero to hero. Yes. <laughs> zero and just lead you through, lead you through, lead you through. And that's the way I set this up so that, you know, you're getting it in little little bits and pieces. So hopefully it's not so overwhelming. But I do feel like that, you know, when you start having to actually turn in those practice files, that's probably when people start freaking out a little bit. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know, you know, if, I, if I'm doing this right or not, and I'm scared to turn it in. And I don't right. want anybody to feel that way, you know, because I know that it, it takes time. This that was a turning time. point for me, actually. Those practice files that you give us to transcribe and submit for the proofing was a big turning point for me. That's where I really started to get it because right. you send back that proof and you show me right here. Here's where you went wrong. This is what it should look like, which allowed me the opportunity to go back to the lunch and learn and going back through the multitude of videos that you provide us there with instruction to see exactly what you're showing. And maybe what I didn't understand the first time that I watched that video, if I go back and I watch it again, now it makes perfect and clear right. sense. That's right. And a lot of things are like that, you know, I run into things sometimes that are foreign or new to me and I might have to go through it two or three times just to get it. Some things I can get on the first go around and some things I just have to keep kind of working at it. And then Correct. like you say, the light bulb will come off eventually and uh, then you, you understand it. And I want everybody Correct. that takes my training to feel like they understood everything I was saying. So I kind of break it down as I go. And I, I hope you like that style of teaching. I absolutely do. I love that style of teaching, Linda. The lectures are just beyond helpful. I, I mean, and the fact that we're able to continually go back and reference the resources mm -hmm. and learn, you know, we, we can learn at our own pace that alleviates a lot of the pressure. Uh, and then, but with the practice files, you know, that's where you're really kind of dipping your feet into the water there and you're there to encourage and push us through that extra little step of the way to get us over that hump and graduated. Wow. I know I could not have done it without you, Linda. Well, it was my pleasure indeed to teach you and I'm so happy for you and you did really well. And you also did some beta testing for me on some new courses I was working on. And yes. I appreciate that. You did great, great help to me for that. And I wanted you. to thank you again for your help with my, with beta testing some new courses. Well, unless you have anything else you want to say, I guess we probably need to wrap this up. 
I just hope, Linda, I, I know I will be out there encouraging as many people as I can to get online and take a look at your platform and enroll in these courses that this is the best thing that we can be doing for ourselves right now, really. And wow. your course is just amazing. It's perfect. Well, thank you. Well, this allows you to have a career where you can work from your home and yes, you can work around your schedule and seeing about, you know, your mother and your family and do do things on your schedule. As I say, freelance type work equals freedom. That's I That's feel correct. like free freelance means freedom to me. And I like that is correct. The freedom of it that if I need to take off for three or four hours during the day to go do something personally, you know, nobody's micromanaging me. And if I need to, I can make the time up that night. You know, and I can, That's right. kind of, you know, my own schedule that suits me best. And that's what I've always liked about uh, freelance type work. And that's what this is. And it's really, yes. you can work, you know, somebody can work from a, a $2,000 desk or they can work from the kitchen table. That's right. And that's Nobody exactly cares. right there. The freedom of this freedom. is exactly why. I wanted to do this because I do have so many other obligations and this allows me exactly that, the freedom to balance both my work and my life and meet my obligations on a daily basis. I love it. Well, I guess we'll uh, say goodbye now. And I, I just really thank you for your time and speaking with me and sharing. Well, and thank you for having me on, Linda. I really appreciate it. And it was such a pleasure. Yeah. Uh, we, we love uh, hearing, you know, about your life and everything. And uh, I wish you well. And if you need Thank me you. for anything, just let me know. I certainly will do. Thank you so much, Linda. Okay. Have a bye good bye. day. Bye. You too. All right. Bye-bye.